Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Darts. Here we are still in the build-up to the William Hill World Darts Championship and we've got Irish sensation Keen Barry with us. Keen, first of all, is the excitement building yet for the Worlds? Yeah, it's, it's getting really close now, so it is. It, it's exciting. I'm uh, getting getting the, group, getting the practice in and it's, it's getting closer day by day, so it is. Uh, the excitement's kind of creeping up on me. Obviously, 2020 has not been a great year for most people, but when you look back for you, it's actually been a very good year, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, like definitely. The start of 2020, I won the, the BDO World Youth Championship and uh, I think even Super 16, maybe in JDC as well. And it definitely wasn't a bad year for me anyway. Like I, I still got the darts in, even in the online tournaments and that, so still winning a few there. So it has, hasn't really affected me too much now. Thanks. Second on the development tour order of merit and the challenge tour order of merit, securing your tour card for 2021. That must be a big relief that that's boxed off heading into the World Championships. Yeah, definitely. And my big target was to win uh, develop one development tour. That that was my whole plan. Like, cause it's I've always I've always been in the mix, so always been close, but never really got over the line. But um, that that was a big a kind of big relief off off me shoulders, and I think so. It was nice to get the win and even get the tour card as well. It was, it was amazing. Is that a relief that you haven't got to go to Q school in January? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's 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 not a place kind of any player wants to go to. No matter how how good you are or what what you can do, it's 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 very very tough there. Like it's it's not always the best players get get the card at the end of the end of the couple of days. Obviously, when we came back from lockdown, your form caught the eye from all corners of the world. Do you put that down to playing a lot of online darts over lockdown, the fact that you were match ready and battle hardened for the season when it returned? Yeah, without a doubt. Like with the, with the Modus League really kept me kept me sharp because I think if, if, I, if I wasn't playing in the Modus League, I would have struggled big time because they kind of you're nothing really to work towards. So you don't have maybe have the motivation to have to practice. There was nothing there wasn't really anything coming up. There was nothing for definite on. So then when I got the message about the uh, Modus League, I was delighted because I knew well it would keep me kind of hungry, it would keep me match game still, still as good as it was. So I was delighted to, to have that text coming in. Obviously playing world champions like Martin Adams, legends of the game, must have helped as well because even though he's semi-retired, shall we say, he can still throw an absolute mean dart. He was unbelievable. He, he was 100% the hardest player and the whole whole kind of the uh, league thing, I always kind of found it really hard. It was we always had a really good game, but he was definitely the hardest player to play against because no matter how well you kind of throw, it, it doesn't matter to him. Like he just still just does his thing, and he, he was by far I think the best player on the um, uh, Modus League. It was brilliant. Looking ahead to the World Championships, Jeff Smith in in the first round, tough first round game for yourself. What's your thoughts on the game and the, the prep? What's it been like? Yeah, like it's uh, I've been practicing really well, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to. It. But uh, Jeff's Jeff's a really good player. Uh, like it's um, especially in the world, in the world championship, there's no easy games. But it, it definitely against Jeff will be a tough game. So it's kind of for me, it's just kind of each game, one game at a time, kind of full focus on the first game, and um, I got given me all. Are you a looker of draws? Have you had a look at your section or not? I think uh, I've, I've had a quick glimpse, but um. It's uh, I think I seen I think Willie and even uh, Daryl is in kind of my kind of yeah. Uh, um, you play yeah. if if you win, or you or Jeff play Chris Doby, and then mm. you'll play either Willie, Daryl, or Nell Zonneveld. So in your little mini section of that draw, yeah, yeah, that's a, it's, it's 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 a tough kind of little uh, part of it. But um, I, for, for me, it's just kind of get over the first game is, is and then just then. If if that happens, then just keep keep kind of looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, there's a, there's a few kind of Irish names in there. So, do you think having played there last year will stand you in better stead this year? You know what it's all about. Obviously, we know it's not going to be full, but just the whole occasion of what the process is. Do you think that will stand you in better stead this year? Yeah, I, I think it's going to because uh, you know, wouldn't think first first time nerves or just like I I, I know what the crack is this year. I know, um, kind of. I, I don't think I gave myself enough time last year with everything kind of being there, and so I, I definitely, I'll definitely learn a lesson this year, hundred percent. So uh, the the experience from last year I think will play a massive part. Obviously, your name's been touted around as someone out of the outsiders of the bookies. 
that a lot of people are saying could have a good run if you play well. Does something like that affect you or do you just take it in your stride? I think for me, I just, I'm just going to go up and kind of play my own game. Like uh, I've seen a few people say this and that, but for me, I just, I, I just want to go up there and do myself proud and do my family proud. That, that's, that's just the main goal for me. So it is. So like if, 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 if I get a good run, which I'm hoping, like it's, it's just, uh, I'll be delighted. But for me, it's just kind of, for for myself and for, to, to, to my family proud as well. What was it like as well? Obviously, I know it's a little while ago now, but to play in like to no oh, back again. Um, what was it like to play in the Winter Series and everything like that? Getting used to the environment of being around all these great players on a regular basis. Do you think that will help you as well? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like I, I really enjoyed the Winter Series. Kind of get a get a feel what the pro tour is about and even even it was definitely really really good games i got like match practice too and uh like the whole reason to play challenge tour was to try to get into winter series so that paid off and to, to get the feel of it like there was i think i think i played really really well now i, I think anyway because I, even some of the most games i lost i was never beaten say, six nil six one they're always close enough games i was always kind of put putting up there she showed what i can do so i was, I was happy the way i played and i think i made a, a good account for myself and is the excitement there for 2021, the fact that Keane Barry is now a fully-fledged member of the PDC Elite? You're in that 128 on merit. You've got your tour card. Are you looking forward to all the possibilities that could happen in the next few years? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's going to be good now. I'm going to just, just get my head down and, and put in the effort. And like, um, I'm not just one of them players who are going to be on the tour just to be there. I, I want to actually do well and, and try and get in the top 64 after the two years and keep my tour card and keep pushing. I'm guessing people like Glenn Durrant, obviously, same stable as yourself, Target. I suppose he's the inspiration, is he, that he came over and what he did in those first two years proves it can be done with hard work. Yeah, definitely. Like, he, what he did was amazing, you know. Like, uh, some some people said maybe he couldn't cut in the PDC, but by Jesus, did he prove them wrong? Like, he, he did really, really well. And I think Glenn's a nice fella, too. He's so down to earth, so humble. So, it is, he, he's a definitely, he's a really good role model. In my opinion, you know, it's someone to look up to or, you know, if you want to do what he did, he's really, really doing well for himself. Last one from me. Does this show up and coming youngsters as well that the system works? Obviously, you started with the JDC. You've had JDC glory. You've had PDC youth um, glory on the development tour, BDO glory. And now that you're on the main tour and the main world championships, does that just show every youngster coming through that the system works? And if you put the hard work into the system, it will treat you right. Yeah, exactly. The, the hard work part of it, like it's uh, every every step and stone. You know, you have to kind of you have to be able to walk before you run. So you you start off kind of in the in the say the JDC, then you go up to the to the development tour, and then maybe even challenge tour. So it is it's really good kind of stepping stones. BDO used to be, but it did, I'm sure that would be kind of replaced by by something and give the opportunity for youths again. So um, it really is. It's, it's a great step in stone for youths, and to, to, if you really put in the hard work, you do kind of you, you do get your rewards in the end. Kane, okay, pleasure talking to you. I let you back to watching your beloved Liverpool play, mate. Thank you very much, <laughs> and we'll see you at Ali Pali, mate. Thank you very much. No problem. Cheers. Thanks.